Okay, so um, I'd like to invite Peter Bishop, um, who's our B5 convener. Uh, hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm Peter Bishop, uh, the outgoing Seagull Australia B5 panel convener. In this technical seminar presentation, I will be reporting on the international and local activities of the Sea Grey Australia B5 panel over the last year. First, some context. The B5 study committee focuses on protection, control, monitoring and station metering systems. This includes communication between devices and externally, plus interfaces to remote control. The three B5 strategic thematic groups cover the themes explored by the B5 study committee. Sub substation automation and remote control covers all aspects of coordinated and integrated systems for protection and automation of substations, including bus transfer schemes. Protection and monitoring covers the protection and monitoring of primary plant particularly aspects for isolating network faults, maintaining power system security and limiting plant damage. New network requirements covers the design and application of digital technology and modern communications systems which incorporate schemes for embedded generation and smart grids. The main 2023 activity for the B5 panel was planning for and participating in the International Cairns 2023 Symposium. My overall highlights of the symposium relate to the different B5 associated presentation sessions and discussions. There were the International B5 Study Committee arranged main symposium end to end transition presentations. A very a good variety of topics were covered by a range of local and international presenters. Then there were the Sea Grey Australia B5 arranged CPAC and B5 tutorial presentations. These contained many presentations very relevant to the region. A particular highlight was having many international experts and local professionals together to share and discuss the challenges, developments and experiences in protection and automation spaces as well as the common issues across study committees. Over 300 delegates attended the B5 tutorial. Very positive feedback was received for the B5 events. This slide highlights some presentations from the CPAC conference and their value for the region. CPAC stands for South East Asian Protection, Automation and Control Conference that the Australian B5 panel normally organise every two years. This year, it has been incorporated as part of the symposium. There were several presentations on the impact of inverter-based resource generation on protection. The pictures illustrate, based on experience, how different distance protection characteristics are negatively impacted with a high proportion of inverter-based uh, generation. Solution to the problems were then extensively presented and discussed, very relevant to our region, with increasing levels of renewable generation. A presentation on digital protection twins explained how sophisticated computer simulations of physical protection relays can be used from the home or office to save time investigating protection events, verifying new protection designs, and checking new firmware without the need for a real relay or test set. A presentation on digital protection, oh, sorry, a presentation on special protection schemes explained different schemes now being implemented and considerations in applying them. A Tasmanian power system fault experience presentation explained how a bus bar connected surge arrestor operated for uh, less than a millisecond during external lightning fault. The new bus bar protection was so fast it detected and operated for the surge that it would normally be expected to be stable for. 
Amendments were made to the protection for it to be stable for future short surge diverter operations. The B5 tutorial was titled Applying Synchrophaser Technology for the Protection of the Electric Power System. The presentations included an introduction to synchrophasers, a summary of a recently published synchrophaser technical guideline, and six Australasian synchrophaser application presentations. The Australasian presentations included applications on market operator wide area monitoring, wide area protection schemes, anti-islanding schemes, applications and distribution networks, and transpower's use for synchronism check auto reclose schemes. There was considerable interest in this tutorial and it is particularly relevant to the application of renewables and involves coordination between a number of study committees. Some main B5 symposium presentation highlights for me were other presentations on non-conventional sources relating to unusual power system waveforms, the use of alternative protection functions and other ways to reduce negative impacts, a local Endeavour Energy digital substation presentation uh, on design decisions of process bus technology for distribution substations, and the use of machine learning and artificial intelligence for automated outage prediction and state of risk management for improved system resilience, including control of the network. Now we concentrate on other Seagrave Australia B5 panel activities. The panel has grown over the last few years and currently 43 organisations are represented across Australia and New Zealand. During this year, panel representatives have contributed to 18 international working groups. Working group topics that I think are particularly relevant to Australia and New Zealand include those relating to optimising the response of inverter-based sources for protection performance, protection, automation and control communication requirements for inter-substation and wide area applications, obsolescence management for protection, automation and control, and protection for modern distribution networks. During the in-person panel meeting in Perth, we shared knowledge and discussed topics of general um, regional relevance. This included sessions on sharing down conductor fault protection experience. Powerco has done some trials, particularly with LV measurements in a real fault situation. Also discussing IC 6150 testing best practice. And also having local presentations, including those on SVC faults. Sorry. Uh, those on SVC faults, substation flooding, auto reclose techniques, an arc flash protection journey, and South Australia wide area protection. The panel also planned for the next CPAC conference in Melbourne in 2025. We were also uh, discussed and planned to increase activities with wider involvement by organisation engineers via webinars and focus groups. The output of an international working group is a technical brochure. Three B5 technical brochures have been published in the last year all are relevant to Australia and New Zealand. The first technical brochure is from a joint B5-D2 working group and covers time and communication networks, protection and control applications, time sources and distribution methods. I think Louise covered that earlier on in the D2 presentation as well. The next technical brochure was on protection, automation and control architectures with functionality independent of hardware. The third brochure published was on protection for developing networks with limited fault current capability of generation. This slide shows the 25 active B5 working groups and the associated Seagra Australia B5 representative. During the Cairns B5 study committee meeting, three new working groups were proposed. These are associated with 
using innovative technologies such as machine learning or artificial intelligence, interfacing virtual devices and protection schemes, and protection for synchronous condensers. That concludes the, um, the presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, see me afterwards, ask a question, or contact me uh, with the email address on the title slide. Thank you.